The USS Hornet served from World War II until recovering the Apollo 11 and 12 astronauts, making it 80 years since its commissioning. The ship has now spent 25 years as a museum right here in the Bay Area. And joining us now to tell us more about this historic vessel from the USS Hornet Sea, Air, and Space Museum is Russell Moore. Russell, thank you so much for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. Yes, of course. Now, when it comes to this incredible piece of history that actually I'm sure a lot of people here in the Bay Area weren't even aware of, can you tell me what the museum entails and what people can expect when they come to visit? Yeah, you did a great intro. 80 years in service and now 25 years as a museum. So if you come on board, you get to see a little bit of everything. There's World War II aircraft, Vietnam era aircraft. There's a lot of information about the space program. We have a really big exhibit about Apollo. And so for the the Hornet, you know, one of the most famous ships uh, in the U.S. Navy because it was both a warship but also so involved in the space program. That's so wonderful. And I know that you actually just recently began to work at the museum. So for you, what drew you to the museum and really made you want to go? Yeah, I've always had an interest in history and, and especially World War II history, but also the space program. So the two of those things together really makes the Hornet a super interesting place to work. And it's been almost four years now and I love it there. And I know you're a history buff. It's so much so that you actually wrote a book about the U.S. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about the book and what inspired you? So um, I I've always wanted to write a book about something that I would like to read, if that makes any sense. And so this really encaptures a lot of the areas that I'm interested in, naval history, World War II history, but also the space program. And so this is my first book, and I was very excited to sort of dive into the, the background and all of the information about it and, and to write it. And yeah, it's, it's, it's still kind of surreal, but it's really great. So when people open up the pages, what can they expect? I know it's more than just a history yeah. lesson because it's also personal to you yes. as well. Yeah, so you kind of I kind of start at the beginning, the design of the ship, the construction of it, and then the World War II service, what was happening in World War II. So I kind of like to zoom in and zoom back out, what was the situation that it was in, and then it service during the Cold War, also the Vietnam War and the space program. But the reason I put the title to be War and Peace is because the ship spent a lot of time not fighting in wars. And mm -hmm. so there's so much more to the history than just the fighting part of it, which I find just as interesting. And one of those missions actually was the Apollo mission. That wasn't didn't have anything to do with fighting as well. Can Correct. you tell me more yeah. about that? So the Apollo 11 astronauts, the first time we landed astronauts on the moon and brought them back, the USS Hornet was the recovery ship for that mission. So that's very historic. And then again, we repeated it on the Apollo 12, the second moon mission. So yeah, and there's a lot of information on the ship about that. So if you're interested in the space program, we're a great museum to come and see that at. Such cool pieces of history. I myself actually do love history a lot. That's We were talking a little bit before the interview. And I think it's so amazing that we get it from your perspective as well. But what kind of research and diving into the USS Hornet did it take for you to be able to write this book? So uh, I read all, every book I could find about aircraft carriers, about the various uh, uh, design, construction, that kind of thing. A lot of people have written books about similar things before, so I was really pulling a lot of information together. I also got to interview a lot of people, uh, one person that served on the ship during World War II and a couple more recent crew members, so I got their special perspective. So there's a few personal stories in there, which I think always adds a little bit extra to it. I think so, too. Yeah. Anything surprising? Um, yeah, I mean, yes, I think uh, the the especially the Gene Millen is a guy I talked to who served on the ship in World War II and his stories are, are fascinating and he wow. you know, he's in his 90s now but he still remembers pretty well a lot of the things that he saw and the things that he witnessed. Ah, oh, that's so wonderful. You're making me excited. I feel like I need to read this right after we get off the show. But what do you want viewers to take away from this book? So if if you come visit the ship, I think this is a great thing to take away with you afterwards to remind yourself there's a lot of great pictures in there, a lot of extra information that you might not get while viewing the ship. But the reverse could also be true, that you could read the book first and then want to come to the ship and experience the things you read about in, you know, in reality, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it sounds like if you do that, you can take a little bit of the USS Hornet home with you. So thank you so much, Russell. We appreciate your time here. Thank you.